Hi, I'm Dan. I'm the co-host of Mysteries of Science, the new podcast from the team behind the Week Junior Science and Nature magazine. And I'm Kieran, the other co-host. Today, we are going to be answering some of your toughest questions, including how we make the podcast, some of the topics that we'll be covering in future episodes, and even our favourite Mysteries of Science. Oh, and if you haven't already, remember to check out the Mysteries of Science podcast. You can find the link in the description below. Kieran, our first question today from a listener. What's the podcast about? It's a great question. And if you haven't listened to the podcast already, you might be wondering what exactly is a mystery of science? For us, it's any of the questions in the universe that remain unanswered, particularly the ones that scientists have been thinking about for a very long time. That could be anything from the world of medicine to the world of mythical beasts that possibly exist in the real world. And in each episode, we investigate one of those mysteries with the help of expert guests. And you get to join us along the way. Our next question was sent in by audio, so let's have a listen. Do aliens really exist? And if they do, do they really live on the moon? Ah, what a fantastic question. Well, funnily enough, that is the topic of our very next episode. We're going to be looking into aliens and uh, Kieran and I will be setting out across the galaxy on a hunt for extraterrestrial life. And we're searching for any signs of aliens that we can find. That might be visitors from outer space, smart civilizations in the stars, or maybe just blobs of green gloop stuck on a far-flung space rock somewhere out there. It's, It's one of the biggest mysteries of all times. Are we alone in the universe? Our next question is also on audio. Should we listen to that, Kieran? Let's do it. Has NASA seen anything weird that could be aliens? Another fantastic question. And this one, I think we can only answer if we have a definition for alien. Because if you're picturing something from a Star Wars film or something that has lots of tentacles and about 12 million eyes, we're probably not going to find that anytime soon. However, NASA scientists have found signs that point to the existence of some sort of extraterrestrial life. And in fact, one of the scientists we spoke to for our episode about space was telling us that uh, there are uh, clues out there as to where we might find that extraterrestrial life, even if it doesn't look exactly how we might imagine that it would. So that's our aliens episode, but we've got lots of other mysteries to investigate too. And this question relates to one of those, and that is, are mummies actually cursed? Oh, what a spooky topic. And uh, that's exactly the topic we uh, we crack into in our third episode on uh, Tutankhamun's curse. And I remember, Kieran, I think you were a little bit scared during the recording of that podcast. Yep. Um, So we talked to Daniel Potter, who works at the National Museum of Scotland, and he is in charge of an actual real life mummy's curse. So he's just the person to ask about this. And we asked him, is there any power in this curse or have we misunderstood it? So another question from a listener uh, on Apple Podcasts, this one. When will the next episode come out? Kieran. I've seen lots of people asking this question. So here's the answer. If it is after the 31st of May when you're watching this, then the next episode is already out. You can listen to our alien adventure wherever you get your podcasts from. And our first series of podcasts will have 10 episodes in total, released every two weeks, throughout the summer. So make sure to subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts so that you don't miss any of those future mysteries. Now we started off the podcast with an episode all about the Loch Ness Monster, which I think has inspired this question. What is our favorite monster mystery? Dan, do you wanna go first? Yeah, well, we actually knew you were a curious lot 
but it was amazing to see how much you actually love mysteries. More than 10,000 of you downloaded our first episode about the uh, Loch Ness Monster. It just shows what an amazing favourite monster he is of so many people. <laughs> but I think my favourite monster we'll have to wait for a little bit later in the series uh, because I'm, I'm rather looking forward to investigating the mystery of Bigfoot. And uh, what about you, Kieran? Have you got a favourite monster? I do like Bigfoot as well. I think that's the one that I could be most easily convinced to. But I do love Nessie as well, that famous resident of Loch Ness. And she was such a great star to our first ever episode. Okay, Dan, the next question, here's one for you. Why did we start the podcast? Why did we start the podcast? Well, that is a fantastic question. Um, working on this podcast has made me realise just how much we still have yet to discover about the world out there and also about the wider universe. And so really, just as much as for the listeners, it's also a chance for the team that make this brilliant magazine to go on an epic journey of discovery. I think that both us who are making the uh, podcast and also our listeners are all off on this amazing journey of discovery. So Kieran, a uh, question for you. Why did Amelia Earhart become so famous? Well, for those of you who don't know who Amelia Earhart is, she was a, a pilot in the 1920s and 30s who became famous because she achieved unthinkable things in a plane. She traveled around the world. She uh, carried out long distance flights at a time when such a thing was, was really dangerous, particularly if you were flying by yourself. And also it was a time when women weren't afforded the same opportunities that men were. And so Amelia helped to, to open the door for others. Um, and there were lots of really great experts we had on that episode that, that really stick with me, including Kari Herbert. Um, Dan, why don't you tell us a little bit about the experts from, from that podcast? Yeah, I've, I was really blown away uh, making that podcast. It's a really interesting and inspirational story. And Kari Herbert is a, a storyteller who's written about many female uh, adventurers and explorers. And she outlined the whole story to us and talked about the amazing achievements of Amelia Earhart and also her mysterious disappearance. Thank you to everyone who sent in their questions and a huge thank you as well to everyone who has already listened and subscribed to the Mysteries of Science podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify and all the other podcast platforms too. New episodes of Mysteries of Science are coming every fortnight this summer and you don't want to miss a single one. We've dropped all the information you need to find the podcast in the description below and we'll see you soon.